we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C Sharp with lesson number eight. In this video, we're going to learn about clearing bits using a mask in 10 minutes or less. So we learned about how to set up a value. We learned about not in the last lesson. Let's learn about how to set up a mask and then how to remove bits. So let's look at our mask first. So a mask is going to be, let's start with 0B to give us a value here. Let's say I want to remove that last one, okay? Or in fact, let's let's make it even more tricky. I want to remove both of those ones. So the one and the at the third place and the one in the first place. And so this number right here has a one in the fourth place, a one in the third place, a one in the second place, one in the, I'm sorry, one in the first place, not one in the second place. So I want the resulting value to be one, zero, zero, zero. So I'll remove this one in the third place in the first place. How would I do that? Well, this is a mask. This is what we're saying is, hey, these are the things I want to remove. And then what we need to do is do some calculations. So let's copy our thing here. We're going to say this is our mask. And then we're going to do it one more time. And this is going to be int result. So we're going to say result and result. And the result is going to be the removal of the elements in the mask, which are ones. So how we do that? Well, we say value and the logical and, and we say not mask. Okay. So, oops, I have to put an equal sign there. That's going to be more valuable. Um, so we're taking the original value, which is this, and we're saying, I want to logical and here, not mask. Okay. So let's do this. Let's copy and paste. And we're going to say, um, well, just not mask. And we'll put that here as well. So we can see what the not mask looks like. Okay, so let's run this and see how it looks. And okay, first of all, they're all 32 bit, which is good because this one right here to me is huge. So we know what the, the value and the mask are, but the not mask is a whole bunch of ones and then zero, one, zero. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking the not mask and we're logical anding it with the result. So Remember, the and is only going to give you a one where both of the values are one. So what we've got here is that this is zero on the far left, and this one is one, so therefore we get a zero. So we're not going to have any of these this leading um, list of ones that were created by the, the not version of our mask. But then we have our value of one up here. Again, we're comparing value to not mask. So that's one and a one down here. So we get a one in the result. But then we have a one and a zero, so a zero. And a zero and a one, so a zero. And a one and a zero, so a zero. So the result is that we basically take our mask and say, where is a one? Take that out of the resulting value by saying not mask and then logical anding it with the results. Now, if you just said, my brain just broke. If you're like, you have steam coming out of your ears and you're like, something's not right. I've, I've blown a, a circuit because this is complicated and confusing and, and all the rest. Yeah, I get it. It is. Um, and it's something that you want to play around with until you're like, okay, I get it. Even if it's um, it's more of a rule that you learn at first rather than a true deep understanding, that's a good place to start is just know that's the rule. And then keep practicing it and keep understanding it, keep learning it, keep looking at it, keep uh, figuring it out until it becomes more natural to you. Because binary can be really powerful. And you can do a lot of really powerful things with it, but you need to understand how to do the various things. So in this case, we're using our not mask with a and, 
to take these values out of our value. Okay, so the, the basic rule is if you have a value and you have a mask, just say value and not mask, and it will give you the result you're looking for, right? So that's how do you kind of combine these things together. That's why it's important to understand what and does. It's important to understand what not does and not just kind of skip over and go, yeah, no, I got it, I think. No, 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 you have to know because we're combining these things together in a way that is going to be complex if you're not really grasping it firmly. And when you grasp it firmly, it's going to be easier. It's still going to be complex. But once you get it, once it clicks, or once you at least memorize or learn the rule, it will really help you when it comes to doing these various operations. And one of the big values here is that we're doing all these operations in binary. What is stored on your hard drive? Binary. What is stored in your RAM or your random access memory? Binary. What does a computer ultimately work with? Binary. So when we're manipulating the binary, it's a very, very, very efficient process. When the computer just has to say, turn this one on, turn this one off, turn this one off, that's super efficient. Your computer can do that at lightning speed. So when it comes to these manipulations, we're doing things at lightning speed that otherwise could be a much more perf much more um, performance intensive process. Now, this isn't going to be very performance intensive, but this, when you get to scale or when you get to doing larger things, can be extremely performance intensive compared to what we're doing here. So knowing how to work with the binary can be really powerful and can really give you some great performance in areas that otherwise would be a, a bit more difficult to work with or a bit more um, clunky and a bit more slow. So this right here, super for performant, and it gives you exactly what you're looking for, which is having a value, taking out the masked value. And that's the result you get. So that's how you use a mask or set up a mask. And that's how to um, take the value out or clear bits out using the and not.